this is short mama Ooh, money moves <laughs> and uh, right now i'm trying to see if i got this right okay if it's not we're just going to just keep it going because we are hot mess over here but anyway i am doing my weekly check-in okay so anyway we're gonna go on ahead and get started okay i think i got everything looking pretty okay so you can see it that's what i'm trying to do so um I already did my seeking funds. I already told my budget story and everything. And really, pretty much, I just want to, um, you know, stay on track. And this is a way for me to stay on track because I have fallen behind. So, we're going to go through right here. This is my, after I stuff my stink, sinking fund and everything, then I'll write everything on these charts right here. And it make it easier for me to see if I stayed on track. Okay, so week one, um, I got paid on the sit. So I'm trying to cover this right here. So I got paid on the sit. So week one, um, uh, I spent. It looked like I rolled. I ended. I rolled over twenty. Okay, so I rolled over twenty in gas, and I added an extra hundred. So I stayed within budget. I ended up spending fifty for the looks of it. Okay. I end up spending 50 and I'm going back right here. If you can see that right here, I end up spending seven. So I ended with 20 and this is my second week. That's for the second week. So now I have a total of uh, how much I have remaining. I had $20 remaining. Okay. So that's that chart. So, okay. So now we're going to do couponing. Okay, so for couponing, hold on, because I'm making my paper all wrinkled. Lord of Jesus, look, look at this. Look at this mess. But anyway, <laughs> okay, so for couponing, it can show us right here that I only spent 40 for couponing. And pretty much I had $10 left, but of course I use it as a rollover. And just in case you want to know, my couponing is the only thing that I use as a rollover. I don't keep, I don't roll this over to the next week. What I mean when I say roll over is just I take this out and I would deposit it in my ATM that looks something like this. And I know you probably can't see it, but I would deposit it in this little ATM right here. And that's how I keep up with my rollover. So, you know, pretty much that's what I do to keep up with my rollover for coupon just to see how much I can save, I guess, throughout the year. Okay. So now it's unexpected. And if you kind of confused by this, I already did my seeking fund. If you watch my seeking fund video, then you would kind of understand, you know, pretty much this whole setup. Okay, so unexpected, I had a budget of $15. And let me just put rollover so I won't get confused on that one. Okay. So I got $15. I did not spend anything up here. So I did not spend nothing. And I still have uh, the $15 remaining. Okay. Okay, the next is food. This is going to be a shorter video because I really like doing it this way. I do my sinking funds first, then I write in the chart, then I do my comeback and do my weekly um, check-in. And it's like easier for me. Okay. So food, I had 25 and I spent zero. And I still have 25 remaining. Okay. That was pretty quick. Okay, so my next one is miscellaneous. And I know some people say, why you got unexpected and miscellaneous? It's a reason. Don't ask me what the reason is, but it's a reason. <laughs> I don't even know what the reason is sometimes. But I found the reason. In my head, I did anyway. But anyway, miscellaneous was 15. I still have the 15. Didn't spend anything, so that's also zero. And I still have $15 remaining. Okay, now we're going to do household. Now, usually I don't need anything from household. I say household just in case it's something like you can't get with a coupon. 
Because sometimes you have to buy things that you can't get with a coupon, you know. Sad to say. But anyway. Okay, so with household, I had a budget of 20 from the looks of this right here. I still have the 20. I ended with 20. So I did not spend anything. And I still have um $20 remaining. Now, personal. Let me tell you something. I always spend the personal. I spend all the personal. <laughs> I put the P in personal because I find something to buy. I need to stay out of Starbucks. That's what it is. But anyway, <laughs> personal, I had 25. As you can see here, I spent the whole 25. I mean, I love none. Okay, so I spent the whole 25. And I have zero remaining. So that is a pretty much easy, you know, thing of, you know, pretty much my check-in. So I'm going to write down what I will be starting the following weeks with. I might speed this along so you won't have to watch me because I write pretty slow. Yep, don't judge me and my slow writing skills. <laughs> but I'm going to go back to the... You know, this page right here. I'm getting used to this. I got so used to using Andrew and Conjuring um, notebooks that I got to get back used to the Happy Planner. Okay. So, but I do like the Happy Planner because you can switch out and change the, um, what do you call it? Change the order of your worksheets versus you can't really do this with Andrew and Conjuring. But I still like the coil. But anyway. So let me go ahead and I'm going to write sideways. I'm going to just slide this to the side real quick. You might don't get to see it, but I might speed this along so you can, so I can write everything down and what, how much I have as a budget for all these categories. And yeah, for the following week, which I get paid on Friday. So this is going to be for week two of May. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that. Or I might don't speed along and I can have a story time with you, okay? And so, one thing I want to talk about is um, how I ended up in debt before I, you know, start paying off my debt. My thing was, I couldn't, some, some of the things that I had issue with is that I couldn't say no. Okay, that was like one of the main things I had issue with. Um, I felt like I had to always help someone, even when no one never helped me when I needed it. So that was one of the um things that it caused me to get into debt. And I know that sounds kind of, probably sound well. Some people probably can even relate to it, but. That was one of the things, okay? Also, I know some people heard the word FOMO. I have that. I have that issue, okay? <laughs> okay, let me tell you an example. Uh, I don't know. Um, you know, most people that watch me probably be watching a lot of other budgeting videos. But I had a habit with my budgeting video. Not my budgeting video. Watching other people budgeting videos. And they had this pink calculator it was like a pink calculator they got their big bulky um buttons on it if i can find a picture of it i'm gonna post it up here but it seems like so many budgeting you know content creators had that i mean not camera had that um calculator and i happen to see how much the calculator cost the calculator is not that expensive but it was like um oh man i messed up Okay, I won't hit the white out this, but it's okay. But yeah, but it was um, I want to say twenty something dollars, like twenty one dollars, and I was about to buy that calculator. And the crazy thing about it, I don't even like the color pink. <laughs> I don't even like the color pink, and I was well, like about to literally buy that calculator just because so many people. Had it, and I felt like I was missing out by not having that calculator in my life. <laughs> it's the craziest thing. But that's also was one of the reasons or how I ended up in so much debt is was the, the fear of missing out. I felt like, you know, I was missing out on something by not have, having it and everybody else having it, you know. And I know it's something as simple as a calculator, 
but that's pretty much you know how I felt so when you get to the point that you swipe your debit card and hope that it go through you start realizing how to say no because the bank had just told you no if that card get declined the bank told you no so you said okay I want to learn how to tell other people no and that's pretty much how that went now it says here that I thought I gave myself a lower budget in my that's what I messed up on because I put that I I put 25 and I actually right here I'm gonna tell you what the mistake I did now I see what happened with that extra five dollars and my sinking fund went to okay I'm gonna show you right here okay if you watch my sinking fund video I kept saying that I was missing five dollars that's because I put that um one minute I put 25 and actually I only budget myself for twenty dollars for my personal and I took notice of that when I looked in my wallet I mean I know for sure that I budget myself twenty dollars because I only put twenty dollars in my wallet and I already use um half of it <laughs> So I have to change this. I'm going to have to get my white out and change it to 20. And I'm glad I caught that. I caught that because I was like, wait a minute. I want to put $20 in my wallet. Okay. So that's why that, and I'm going to have to change it in my, um, on my envelope too, because I must wrote it on my envelope, but yeah. Okay. And so this is next week. Okay. So next week, as you can see here for my weekly check-in for basically this is week number two i get paid friday so friday is my second pay so week number two this is how much i have for gas that count the hundred dollars i put in for this week plus the twenty dollars remaining um coupon in i rolled this ten dollars over to the little atm i showed you um and i just keep my budget at fifty dollars okay um unexpected i added an extra 15 so it made it 30 food um i added 25 so it was already 25 in there i added 25 making it 50 miscellaneous i added how much i added okay 15 and so i must edit another 15 uh household i already had 20 and i added a 15 and personal i didn't have nothing left in personal and i only limit myself to 20 dollars. so this is how i do my weekly check-in i know some people probably do theirs a little easier than what i do mine's probably sound ca um, kind of complicated but this is the way my mind works <laughs> So, yeah, so, um, I might do more, you know, like this and just talk to you, or, you know, whatever. But anyway, I will be doing another video of uh, me planning how much I would have to take out my paycheck for my saving challenges, because that's how I do. I pretty much, you know, do all my saving challenges and give myself an estimate on how much I got to take out my paycheck. Okay, after my bills. So, yeah. So, you're going to see probably another video. So, of course, like, comment, and subscribe. We're trying to make the money moves. Uh, make our money move in the right direction. So, this is Short Mama. And, yeah. Bye.